Hello everyone, how are you guys doing? Today is May 23rd, uh-huh, uh-huh. So how are you guys doing? Um, you know, for me, as far as I'm concerned with my red synthetic hair, yes, yes, yes. I'm still nocturnal. Like, it's like one o'clock in the morning and I'm wide awake, but mm -mm, not tonight. I'm going to bed tonight. Like, I'm gonna make these three or four videos, maybe five. I'm go home, take a warm shower, and you know, take off this wig and all this makeup, and I'm out. Because tomorrow's Saturday, you know, I wanna get up and clean up. And you know, just, I don't know. I don't wanna be sleep all day, you know what I'm saying? I love the sun, I love to be out in the sun with my mask, but you know, with this sleep, habit the sleeping habit it's just insomnia it's it's just driving me crazy okay anyway so tonight or today or whatever this morning i want to talk about wendy williams sis what's going on like i heard that you know your health is not up to par you know is it your health or is it you know is it your physical health or is it your mental health or is it your you know, your extracurricular activities, health, you know, like what is it? But I'm so sorry to hear that. You know, I'm so, and I, again, I'm sorry that I have not made any videos on you, you know, regarding your divorce and, you know, moving on. I haven't, I don't think I've made a video about you in maybe a year or so. And I'm so sorry, even though I have looked at the show, you know, every day when it was a show, um, I really, I don't particularly like you at home. Um, I, I like the audience involvement. And then who's your sidekick name? Not the DJ. Um, excuse me. What is his name? You know, the, the cute black guy. Um, I think he's gay. What is his name? Oh my God, I think he's cute. But he's not a good sidekick when you don't have any other interference or any um, sound effects or something. Like, I don't understand why you guys could not have a, you know, like an audience, you hit a button and it goes, yay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Or, you know, people clap or, you know, something because, you know, you're in your kitchen and then it's kind of weird that you have those two statues and everything. It's kind of gaudy, kind of, and then it's a, a wee bit dark. And then, you know, some days you had on your lingerie or whatever. And I was just like, no, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. And then you would say something and it would be flat. You know, normally when you were in the audience or at the studio, you know, you said something and the crowd would react. But you would say something and then there was silence. Like, is his name Norm? What is that boy's name? Anyway, you know, a sidekick would either laugh or you know, say something, a good sidekick, um, or, you know, enter into the convo, but he would just, just, you know, the camera would go on him or, you know, he would be on the screen and he would just, you know, be smiling. He actually does look good though with, I think he has facial hair. So what is that child's name? Is it him? Wes? I don't know. It's something. Um, it was kind of dry. It's really dry. And I don't know if anyone has told you this. Like, you know, it, it was really kind of boring. And then, you know, like all of a sudden, a celebrity would pop up on the screen. There would be like no introduction or anything. Like the few, the few couple of episodes that I, I viewed, it was like that. It was like, you know, you don't have anybody to help you out with this or something. I think DJ, was your DJ friend or whatever um I think he would help you out or I think there was someone in the background but it was really flat like really flat so I can't wait until you guys get back into the studio and sis you know what stay strong because I know this may be a lot for you you know stuck in your apartment 
you know, you're divorced, you're used to Kevin being around, you're used to little Kev being around, you know, you have all of this death and, excuse me, destruction going on in New York. So, you know, I just, I can't imagine, no, I can't imagine because, no, but you have the cats. I think you needed a dog, but, um, you know, like I said, see, we did not go to Jamaica. Remember, I could, I said, you know, we could have went to Jamaica, but you was hanging with, what's her name, Medea? <laughs> She's a lot. I saw her on uh, Love and Hip Hop. Um, She's a lot. I mean, I know I could be something, but no, she's a, like, a lot, lot. I can't see you with someone like that. But no, no, I think, you know, sis, I think you are, um, you're like open-minded to who you are. I think you like to party, you know, you like to allegedly do your little drugs and I don't know if you drink or not, but I think you just like to have a good time, you know, wherever you are, whatever, you know, I think you, you're the type of friend, I don't know if, are you cheap with that or no? I think like, you know, you, you, I don't know what you do, I don't know, I don't know you good enough, I haven't heard enough, if you're cheap or not, you might be, yeah, no, you have said you are cheap, you said that, but I don't know, you know, what you're like, you know, when you're kicking it. You know, I think you're like, okay, I got the food and, you know, got the drink or whatever. Let's just have a good time or whatever. But, I, you know, I don't think you're into taking people shopping or anything like that. I, I know you hold on to your money. But listen, if you're feeling a little down, you know, whatever, just send me that Oh, No, I'm not going to New York. No, I'm not. Nope, not going to New York. Sorry. I mean, you know, when they lift up the air traffic or something like that, maybe we can you know, meet up and kick it. And, you know, I'm telling you, we need to go to Jamaica, girl. But no, nah, I'm not. I'm not going to New York. There's way too much going on. And it's too many people. The, you know, you can't social distance yourself between people. And my cousin was literally in New York. It was him, his daughter, and, you know, I think they had like four grandkids and another woman. It was like seven or eight of them. It was a lot of them. And this was right when... I think he was there the weekend before they cracked down, when they shut it down, literally. But they had a good time and none of them were sick, but mm -mm. No, I'm not, no, it's a lot going on in New York. Even though I think that you guys are um, over the summit, you know, the highest point, the peak, but mm -mm, no, New York will not be seeing me for many years. And I think I'm supposed to go. I was supposed to go to New York this summer. Actually, I was going to go to New York. Was it around my birthday? And I was going to go to your show to go visit your show. But mm, not this year. Mm -mm, mm -mm. But sis, look, Wendy, you have to stay strong because this is a vivido time important time whatever this is a time for you to you could either win or lose you know what I'm saying um you have to be strong I mean I know you've been through a lot in the past couple of years but I, I mean I haven't heard of anyone saying that you could lose your show but you know it's like you or your own show and I think Nick is a little too busy to save you I mean you know you can have those other guest host and everything but it's just not the same with you you know what and I've noticed it's not the same with you nor is it the same without your guest host so you know just let them do the reruns stay away from Nini yeah I love Nini but I don't know something remember and I said this before all of that even went down I made a video like right before that issue, I think about maybe two weeks or a month before that issue happened, I made a video and I was like, no, you don't need to, Nini's just not, mm. and I love Nini, she's the queen of Housewives of Atlanta, but I just, I didn't see that for you. Um, again, I think that you've made it like you're Wendy Williams and she's Nene Leakes but 
you're on a higher echelon than she is. And I'm not putting her down because I love Nene and I love you. I just don't see you guys together. Like maybe when you guys were both married, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know. But, you know, I have never met. Have I ever met Wendy? No, I've never met Wendy. Nor have I met um, Nene. Oh, oh, see this dark stuff right here? Hmm. Anyway, can I put that down? I guess this is why people glue their wigs. <laughs> I'm not. No, I'm not doing all that. I'm too old for these. Not for a synthetic, honey. I wouldn't even glue it for a regular one. No, for a, a lace front. God, that stuff gets on my nerves. But anyway, back to Wendy. Yeah, sis, I just, I'm really sad that you're going through these health issues. And listen, you know, if you ever... I'm not going to New York, though. No, not even for Wendy. I, I, I can't do it. I can't. I'm not. Mm -mm. No, because I... Like, I could catch a plane and, and, you know, she could have a car pick me up. Nah, I'm sorry, sis. You know, we got to wait until those numbers go down a little because it's, it's, it's a little too much. But when it does, you know, let's hook up. Let's... You know, let's sit up all night and talk and stay in our pajamas and, you know, play with the cats. And I'll cook. So can you cook? I don't know if you can cook or not. But, um, yeah, I am so sorry that, you know, you're having these health issues. I really am because I really do. I really do like Wendy. I really, that's my girl. That is my girl. We can go walk around in our shorts, honey. Yeah, I can make me some booty. What do you think? I'm a lot thicker than you are. A lot thicker. But, um, honey, I got my wig collection, baby. And I can do your makeup. See, that's another thing. I like your makeup. At your own thing. I just don't. I don't like you at home. You know, it's almost like invading your privacy. I didn't like, you know, how you were in your pajamas. and all. I didn't like that, sis. I want you back on the show. You know what I'm saying? I think you need your support staff and your co-host and your entourage. It's just, it's, it's just not the same. You know what I'm saying? And it's just the reactions. If you do go back to your, you know, your your kitchen, whatever, have some, um, you know, test out some some live audience. You know, hey, hey, you know, like there's a crowd or something, some of sound effects or something like that, because it was just like dead. It was silent. Norm. It had, his name has to be Norm. I think it is Norm. Your assistant. Anyway, and then where's the silly white girl? I forgot her name too. I don't think nobody, whatever. But listen, sis, take care, and I'm gonna check on you every day. Well, at least a couple times times a week i might check up on you again this weekend so look out for my videos i'm gonna tag you in it and you know let's just I, i'm just praying that you know you get to a level where you can perform and i mean and if you can't you know don't don't push it or whatever because it's too much going on if you're stressed out or whatever you're going through you know maybe you can call kevin no i don't you got girlfriends or whatever. I mean, weren't you dating someone or something? But I guess you don't want anyone in your apartment. Girl, I don't know, honey. You got rich people problems. I, I'm too poor or whatever, baby. I ain't got nothing with you. But you know what? When it comes to, like, mental and physical and all the other health, money really doesn't make a difference, you know? It's not what how much money you have. It's, I don't know. Because I'm poor and, you know, I'm healthy, but... I'm worried. I'm worried about you. I'm good, okay? You ain't got to worry about me, but I'm worried about you, sis. I don't understand what's going on. But, you know, being alone, that can bring on depression or other other stuff, you know? Um, and, you know, driving around my city, it is. I, I, I like, you know, I like the city life. You know, I like cars and people and you know, traffic and planes and, you know, the ability to go somewhere, even if you don't want to. I'm talking as, as far as travel. It's kind of weird not being able to travel. You know, I really want to go to Cuba. I really want to go to Colombia, um, back to Africa, but I can't. 
And I was looking at my, oh shoot, someone nominated me to post pictures of my travel. I completely forgot about it. I got to do that when I finish these videos. Um, I was looking at some of my travel videos and now, or pictures and videos. I was like, gosh, when this travel band is over, like me and you, we really need to kick it, especially go to Jamaica or somewhere. I think you, you would like Africa. Oh, honey, you would have a ball over there. <laughs> Ooh, they would love some you, but um, you would have a good time. Mm, mm, mm. But anyway, um, darn it, what was I saying? Yeah, when when it does let up, this band let, lets up. You know, the, the the travel band. I'm going to the places that I wanted to want wanted to go. Actually, I was supposed to be there in March, but you know, I wasn't. I didn't go. Um, like I said, Colombia, Cuba, back to Africa. Um, um, Brazil, I wanted to go, but no, I, I would like to go to Argentina and uh, Japan. Oh, and Bali and Singapore <laughs> and Australia. Okay, listen, you know what, sis, you know, I, you know what I'll do? I'll leave my email in, in the bottom of this, um, one of my emails at the bottom. And you know what, if you want to reach out, go for it. Okay, love you. Mm -hmm. Love you, Wendy. I hope you feel better. Okay, bye, sis. Bye, big sis. See you later.